the most gifted, enhanced, and the highest order of creation that is perceived and assured by themselves is the mankind. For the reason that they are rational, having the ability to understand the nature, purpose, the integrity and values, not only to understand just a simple rudimentary authoritative principle of one's survival or existence or mere abortionation, <coughs> but also understanding the teleology of life as a totalitarian study connecting one's own life with the nature as well as the subhuman species. So, the totalitarian or composite view of life is not mere human beings with science and technology. It is the life of human beings with nature and subspecies. And this totalitarian benefit is said to be the development and any science and technology should lead to such a situation which benefits this totalitarian network. So, the real range of view or the real sense of science is to bring happiness to human beings which is a sharing happiness along with nature and other species. So, based on this, the nature and life has been made by a principle known as order. It is known as order or discipline. And those who are belong to the schools of thought of naturalism, accidentalism, nihilism, etc. They do feel that there is nothing order. We do systematize some order as per our requirement or emerging demands. There is no order such at all. And even in philosophy, there are a lot of atheistic, materialistic, pantheistic schools which limits the purpose or which totally nullifies the purpose of living. But the emerging science as well as the situation in the society that urges us to make an order according to science we have to create an order without which survival is impossible. According to spiritualism there is already a global discipline without adhering to which a proper survival, a productive survival will be just a myth. So this order that is a rule or the code or the orbit of operation of each and every force of the nature. If they are disturbed, then they get into disaster and this disaster is nothing but the product of disorder that is caused in various areas. So, nature and life, they are based on the axis of order and any deviation or the angle of aberration from this order leads to disorder and disorder, when it is magnified, when it is multifold, when it can cause loss to lives, their standards and status, then that becomes a disaster. There are five major problems which are discussed as per the spiritual view. Number one, the wrath of nature. Number two, misuse of nature. Problems in self-handling, problems in group handling, and problems in handling your own tools. So, the nature's wrath is known as natural disaster, which is geological disaster. Aero disaster, hydro disaster, thermal disaster, these are all natural disasters. Misuse of nature is an environmental disaster. Self-handling problems that result as health disaster. And handling of groups that results in sentimental and social disasters. How to organize within ourselves. Lack of your proper collective responsibility and skill of execution. Then the final stage is without having the proper tools of handling the tools, we are handling the tools. How to handle the tools? The proper way of utilizing your own things. That's why I used to say science is having two problems. First, it dealt with the problems of the society. This is the second phase of transition for science. It is dealing how to tackle the problems created by science itself. So it is the second phase of transition in science. So the fifth thing is lack of proper knowledge of handling the tools. Handling the tools of promotion and development which you yourself have created. So based on these five things, lot of problems they arise in the society on the basis of which science is also parallelly emerging. Whenever there is a problem, then science gives a solution. The solution may make some problem out of a serendipity, unilateral coverage or lack of a long and proper vision. Science within a limited way of optical or intellectual view, they have been something else which creates a genetic loss or a long-term malefit in the society. So the third level is emergence of science as per the growing problems. So science, uh, these uh, disasters, they have emerged. So science has also emerged in various techniques. Uh, how to detect, how to give warning, 
how to pass on the information by a network, how to make resources, knowledge resources by research, search, probe and traditional experiences and how to make these detection systems available through engineering and installation of power stations or workstations. Then it extends also to disaster mitigation, disaster management, disaster control, then various studies in disaster sciences. So all of these various sciences, they emerged due to the rule of natural emergency or contextual emergency. So these science systems, they emerged in the society, creating new problems, also created new problems are founded there within and new solutions are brought. How to implement the solutions and organize between the society is not a scientific duty and science cannot do that. Science can create a thing, but the created or scientifically manifested entity can be well distributed, productively distributed, monitored only by an aware social system. It is by the social vigilance, it is by the spiritual guidance as per the spiritualists, but it is also a social vigilance. On the basis of these various things, now we are going to discuss some sort of the disasters and create a dimension of a spiritual view or a totalitarian universal view for its solutions, for its management and for control and mitigation, various measures I have already mentioned. Now, there is a problem known as crisis. What is crisis? Wherever there is a fear of extinction, wherever there is a fear of depletion, wherever a fear of uh, the total extinction of a thing which is undergoing depletion now, wherever there is a possibility of fear, for example, disaster, what is created in the society due to disaster? <coughs> Number one is loss. Loss means it is loss of life, loss of infrastructure, uh, it is something in into the environmental beauty and bounty. It is also a problem that deals with uh, the economical downfall. It is also resulting in various uh, trauma and other unwanted <coughs> conditions in the form of human impact also. So, it also creates a terror in the society. What is terror? Disaster terrorism is a new terrorism. What is terrorism? To create persistent perennial fear that it may happen to any person at any time, at any intensity level is known as terror. See, fear is entirely different. Fear comes to few people on few occasions and it is infinitesimal or it may be ephemeral. This persisting, perennial, inexhaustible trace or deep-rooted fear that is in the minds of the society is known as terror. Now we are living in the era of not computer world, it is not nano world, it is not a eugenic world, it is not anything else, it is a disaster world. Now we are, everybody is in the alarm of awareness of, alert of, danger of, terror of, research of, the same thing known as disaster in different things which have been covered now and which are yet to be covered later by spiritual people or a mega scientific or a meta scientific source, it is yet to be covered. So this crisis, I want to list some of the crises, all are disasters. If something is going to result in mass or colossal damage of lives, system, the system's order in sources of the socio economical factors, then everything is disaster. Let us deal with some crises like that. The first thing is food crisis. Let us uh, look after the other things, development things later. First of all, food is the basic thing of life. Second thing is water. Now we are facing global water crisis. They marked for 2010. Something will be managed, but certainly it may be postponed, but it is not a joke like that. So certainly we are facing crisis for all of our essentials. Number one, food crisis. Number two, water crisis. The third thing is very funny, the air crisis. Now we are in need of oxygen bars. The air is totally polluted and after a few decades, like various bars in the societies, we will be having oxygen bars. The third crisis will be pure oxygen crisis. Fourth, we are facing the power crisis. We have been made to live in a power accustomed or power acclimatized life. Whatever we inhale, whatever the breeze that we experience, whatever the force that drives all of the mechanical outputs of the modern sense, everything is driven by power non-conventional, recyclable, renewable, innumerable power systems are there, power crisis. So these things are visible. There are some subtle crises which must also be considered. One is a population crisis, which is the population is also a disaster. It is population disaster. If lot of people die, that is also a disaster. If more than your accountability and your adjustability and administrability, if there is an overload, that is also resulting in lot of overconsumption population, population congestion, traffic congestion is also there. Now after some decades we will be getting air traffic congestion, air traffic population problems may come after a few decades or centuries. So that is population. Second thing is uh, 